Hey friends, my name is Sachin Mangale and today we are going to see how to use solid state relay. I have two ampere solid state relay modules and I'm going to show you how to use them. So first thing first, what is the solid state relay? Actually they are made up of the electronics component and it does not have any moving parts. It also known by the SSR. They are also available in AC and DC variants. Usually they are available in single pole, single throw SPST. They are mainly used to provide isolation than switching high current. These relays are available in different power rating and I have 240 volt 2 ampere modules which I am going to show you how to use them. Solid state relays are required very low power consumption to operate them like this is the Omron G30MB202P. It required 5 volt input DC to operate and it has 240 volt AC and 2 ampere load current capacity. Theoretically it maximum 480 watts load we can operate to it. So it has a three terminals to operate. One is the DC power supply plus ground and channel one which is on up to relay operation. We can operate is using the 5 volt supply. This is a higher trigger relay. So when we apply CH1 with the positive 5 volt supply it turns on and that LED behind it it getting turned on means relay is on this type of relay required very very low power consumption to operate this kind of relay this green color looks like resistor it is a fuse resistive fuse if you apply more than 2 ampere load that fuse get burned these two pins are for load loads means we are going to connect it here our electrical instrument this is a high level trigger relay there are low level trigger also available i have only high level trigger relay available so there are multiple types of relay this is a single channel relay it has only one relay and one channel this is a two channel relay it has a two relays and two channels to operate the two loads it this is a four channel relay unit and it has a four channel input there are two options you can connect input over there or the left side pin as well can attach wire using the screw or the jumper wires these are for the loads four loads can be connected over there these both are the four channel relay they both are the high level trigger one is the black and another one is the red one just difference is the branding let's make this kind of connection showing in the diagram above so i have made that connection this is the one bulb i have connected it to the power supply and there is a wire for the main supply this is a pin connected or the extension board and that is a switch when we start it it start the light like this on off on off so let's remove the main connection let's modify something in this connection this red one is main line and black one is the neutral pin so let's take one switch and attach it there how to attach it we have to cut this red wire which is the main supply like shown in this diagram be careful we have to disconnect the power supply first and then cut it I have cut it like this one and connect the switch here like this in the series like shown in this diagram let's connect the power supply again turn on the button I have connected wires to this switch when I will turn on or off this switch the light will go on and off so relay is like a switch only we are going to replace this button with the relay let's see how to make that connections first remove the power supply first then we have to remove these red wires and connect to the relay at that load pins i have shown this diagram we have to make this connection like this in the series we have to connect it to that relay see so i have connected that relay into the series that both red wires are connected to the relay and that load is load means light is connected in series this is how we are going to power up that relay it required 5 volt supply to operate 
there is a red wire first red wire we need to connect to the plus positive volt second black one is for the ground and the third one is the channel select wire which is to operate a relay on or off so let's connect relay connections to the breadboard 5 volt supply plus for the 5 volt plus red one then the black one is ground for the 5 volt and this is a high level trigger relay so when we connect a low wire to the 5 volt supply the relay will get turned on see that red light is turned on we, when we have connected that yellow wire to the positive 5, five volt supply because this is a high level trigger trigger relay if it is a low level trigger relay then it will turn on when we connect it to the ground so let's connect the power supply again warning this is a high voltage please handle it carefully so connect the yellow wire to the positive 5 volt and that relay is getting turned on again see when we connect it relay getting turned on and led bulb also getting turned on when the relay get turned on so because of there are no moving part present in this solid state relay so switching can be a really fast you can use this relay as a dimmer as well connect this relay to the timer or the microcontroller and give it the highest frequency pulse and it can be used as a dimmer for the inductive or the res resistive load only this is the total connections let's attach this relay channel 1 pin to the microcontroller like arduino or node mcu now in this case i have taken the node mcu and i have programmed the led blinking program in it so this is the led program led blinking program written in this microcontroller one second on and one second off when the pulse go high it will turn on because this is a high level trigger relay and that is yellow pin is connected to the d4 microcontroller pin d4 so using the relay and microcontroller we can operate a pan tube light or any electrical or electronic instrument very easily it is also possible to control uh, home appliances using the IoT. If you are not subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and click on the bell icon and all notifications. Thanks for watching the video. If you have this video in Hindi, I have the link in the description. Please check the video for the video. Thank you.